Hey everybody, Jack Byer here from NASA Spaceflight. I wanted to walk you through how we were able to predict the time of engine ignition, or T0, during Starship tests. These predicted timings work for both static fires and flight attempts, so no matter what, you'll know what to look out for. Though, I do need to stress that they are just that, predictions. And there can be holds, or things can change with the countdown sequence itself in the future. This is just based on our current data set as of March 2021. Speaking of data, before I begin, huge thanks to the spreadsheet guy, no, the spreadsheet wizard, Adrian Beal, for compiling all of this info and making it easy for everyone to understand. Recently, for Starship Serial Number 10's second static fire, Adrian was able to predict the ignition time down to within five seconds of actual T0. Without his diligent spreadsheeting efforts, none of this would be possible. So go give him a follow on Twitter at BC Car Counters, or find his predictions in the Starship channel of our member Discord. All right, there are four main events that we look out for as part of the testing flow. In order from first to last, we are looking for methane recondenser startup, Starship's skirt vent, Starship's methane tank vent, and lastly, what's known as the engine chill vent or tri vent. The first sign that propellant loading is in progress is when you see the methane condenser start to vent. Not just a few errant puffs, but loads of venting. The methane recondenser is typically hidden from our view by these three black water tanks, but you will see it start to shoot out plumes of white vapor as it's chilled down. Once we see it venting, we're in the testing corridor, and using Adrian's charts, we know that Starship will ignite its engines in about 34 to 36 minutes if the countdown process goes smoothly. SpaceX may choose to hold at certain points, but for a nominal ignition and liftoff time, 34 to 36 minutes is what we are looking for. To give you an idea of the range of possibilities here, the longest time from recondenser start to ignition so far was just over an hour, so keep that in mind. At T minus 17 minutes, vapors start to form around Starship's aft skirt, right in this region here. It may not be as obvious as the others, but if you can spot it, it's an indicator that fueling is underway and a great sign that the countdown is progressing. At T minus 16 minutes, Starship's methane tank vent purges. Although it doesn't stand out quite like the LOX tank vents, it can be easily spotted if you know where to look. Watch this region here. You should see small, high pressure vents from time to time. Next, if the countdown is progressing smoothly, you'll see three liquid oxygen vents from the aft skirt, and because there's three, one for each Raptor, we call it the tri-vent. When those start to vent, it means the engines are chilling down prior to ignition. These three vents are the most reliable predictor of T0, almost always happening around 12 minutes before ignition, or 11 minutes and 54 seconds to be exact. As we get even closer to ignition, you'll see the tri-vent shut off and stop venting for a few seconds, then start right back up. Once that happens, engine ignition is only around 20 to 25 seconds away. When you see that tri-vent pulse, make sure you're ready for some action. No running to the kitchen for a drink. Finally, just before the moment of ignition, the tri-vents shoot out a large high-pressure plume of liquid oxygen, and the Raptor engines ignite. Or not. Seeing the high pressure plume and no fire is a good indication of an engine abort. Well, now that you know what to look for during Starship testing, you're a bona fide tank watcher. Get yourself a shirt from our merch store to prove it to everyone you meet. Or, even better, get a testing corridor shirt inspired by Adrian's spreadsheets so that you can show your appreciation for both data-driven analysis and extremely esoteric references. Thanks for watching and thanks for all the support. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and leave us a comment letting us know what you thought. Alright, until next time everybody.